Okay, so interesting times. We're now out back behind the mill, and uh, I just got out here, and there's a little path that runs along here, and a big fox just ran like eight feet in front of me, just ran right across there. But uh, this is the uh, upper level out back by the, uh, the mill pond, which would have powered the mill back in the day. Now there is still an upper level of, uh, maybe you can see those geese that are there. Canada geese. Uh, now the mill, uh, the upper level is still powered. It has a wood shop. They're still powered by uh, water, which is very, very cool. Now, so this being the mill pond, what they would do uh, out here in the winter time, back in the day, is um, they would cut big blocks of ice out of this pond uh, for sale to the people to keep their uh, uh, their goods cold. You know, their milk and dairy and, and whatever else, meats. So, um, yeah, this is the pond where they would come out and uh, cut those blocks away. Hopefully, this isn't messing uh, too badly with it. Now, uh, as you can see, the mill is not quite as impressive uh, from the back as it is from the front. But uh, let's let's just go in on the upper level here and, and have a little quick, uh, quick look, okay? So, I hope this is something a little bit different for you guys and gals. Right at the back door. It's got a little uh, pictorial history of the place. Um, this is 1977. You can see it's still a full, full blown uh, wood milling operation. This here is the oldest known photo of the place back in the 1860s or 70s. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's uh, wagons of uh, sacks of flour being brought in. And up over on the other side, there's a wagon with barrels of uh, flour. Sorry, sacks of grain going in and barrels of flour coming out. So there must have been a cooper working here at one point in time. But this would be them chopping blocks of ice to sell. Back in the day, very, very cool. If you can see the kind of saw that the, the guys are using. Um, they've got one right up here. And this could very well be original to the uh, to the mill itself, along with those beautiful old ice tongs there. So very very interesting um, history here. You can see uh, some of the other pictures of, of the place before it was very much developed, way way back in the day. You know, different places around. Um, that's the inside of the store. This is sort of, um, you know, working on the uh, the exterior a little bit, um, but yeah, some very very interesting uh, history. Not terribly far from where I live. I mean, we don't have to look too too far from where any of us are. I think to uh, find a decent little bit of history. Now, um, this is the uh, just an old buck saw hanging from the wall. Those are all over the place. All kinds of antiques and, and cogs and, and things that uh, used to operate the mill, but this is a wood shop. Um, now I haven't been given permission to go in there, so I'm not going to go in, but this still operates from uh, water power, which is very, very cool. Now, um, yeah, they're not doing anything here today, but I understand they were operating yesterday. You can still smell fresh wood, but uh, here's a little look at the upstairs of it. Old uh, flower sacks, all kinds of old buck saws and antique thingies, old cant hooks and whatnot for rolling the logs and just all manner of interesting things. Some millstones here used to grind the uh, grind the wheat with. I'm not sure if you can see the grooves in those, but they're nearly worn out. Very very old those millstones so just uh, thought I'd share a little something interesting and different with with you guys and gals today but uh, I'm gonna head back downstairs and uh, maybe see if there's some donuts for sale all right we'll talk to you guys and gals a little after <laughs>